What's up guys, uh, T-Mart here, and today I've got a pretty exciting video for you all. This right here is the latest and greatest from Scuff Gaming. You guys can see the, uh, the little embossed logo right there, and uh, I know what you're thinking, wow, that's a really big box for a controller. Well, uh, this is their newest controller, it's the brand new Vantage, and I'm pretty sure I'm one of just a few people who are getting it this early. This thing looks absolutely insane. They gave me like a little rundown on some of the new features and stuff. So I kind of know what I'm getting into here, but this is my first time ever seeing it. So I'm gonna unbox this live with you guys. We're gonna see what this thing is all about. Let's do it. Of course, I wanna be fully transparent with you guys. I am sponsored by Scuff, so I've had a discount code with them for a long time. If you use code TMARTIN, you guys save a little bit of money when you check out, and I get a small percentage of that, so that's kinda of how it works. It's not like the, the biggest sponsorship in the world, and honestly, I, I would just, I would use Scuff regardless. I mean, pretty much everybody I know who plays console shooters uses Scuff. Like, you're at a disadvantage if you don't use a Scuff, and I would 100% be using it regardless. So, just keep that in mind. It is a sponsorship, but I just fully believe in the product. And uh, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and open this up. Prepare to win. To our valued gamers, since first arriving on the scene in 2011, we've been an innovator and creator of high-performance game controllers that have radically changed the way controllers are used. Our new officially licensed controllers built from the ground up, incorporating Scuff's patented technologies and a number of new features, yada, 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 never before seen on any other controller on prior generations. All right, Duncan, the CEO and founder of Scuff. All right, bro, let's, let's see what you got for me. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. So it looks like, let's, let's start up here. We've just got some merch stuff. So we've got a scuff lanyard. We've got a scuff t-shirt. Prepare to win. Oh, we've got a little uh, a little key or like a, a pin. It's like a, a lapel pin or whatever. Lapel pin? How do you say that? I don't know. Cool. All right. Merch out of the way. Let's take a look at this controller. I'm just going to get right into it, dude. I'm, I'm excited about this. Oh, we've got a little pamphlet that tells us about the features. I'm pretty sure I know about most of them. Really, the... Um, some of the big new improvements are they have these sax buttons on the side. So you have paddles on the back, but now you have buttons on the side too. And it's got this audio touch bar. So you can like turn the volume up, turn it down, quick mute, and stuff like that. As well as there's a lot of customization, which we'll get into. So let's go ahead and move that. Let's open this bad boy up. Get that out of the way. Woo! Oh my gosh. All right. What? Oh, it's showing you all the customization options. All right, can we can we lift this thing out of here? Dude, this is insane. So a big new thing they have with this controller is that it's completely customizable. And they've had this in the past with the Impact, I think it was, where you could kind of like change out the thumbsticks and the, the rings around it and stuff like that. But in this one, you can literally pull out the vibration cartridges so you don't have vibration in there and it actually makes the controller a lot lighter like personally I always turn off vibration and and shooters just because it kind of messes with your aim a little bit so if you take those out this thing is way way lighter than uh, that it is with a man and I think that's been an option on scuffs in the past like from the factory that you could uh, you could have them remove it like before they shipped it to you but this time you have full control over it and then if you want to play a different game later with vibration you can which is kind of cool so we've got this it's going to open up what's inside here. Oh man, we got a giant. Okay, what was that? I have no clue what that was. Um, customize your experience, it says. And then we also have a case, a little travel case for it. Inside there, we've got our, our little cable to be able to connect it. Now, this is PS4 only. It's not available on Xbox yet. I don't know if it's coming. And it's also, this won't work with PC yet, although they did say they're going to come out with kind of like an update that should let it work with PC. Uh, we've also got, what in the world? Is this, is this for your vibration packs? This might be for your vibration packs. Interesting. That's kind of cool, I guess. We'll, we'll take it. I'll throw them in. Oh, no, maybe it's, maybe it's not for your vibration packs. Let's see what's going on in this thing. And here... We have, this is crazy, dude. I have no clue what to expect. Ah, we've got more thumbsticks. Okay, so you can use the normal PlayStation thumbsticks if you want, or they have different sizes of thumbsticks in here, different keys, different rings. It's literally all in the name of customization. So like, let's say you want a, a taller dome stick on your right stick, you can take off this one and swap it out and just put this one on there. And it's a simple, just kind of like unplug and plug type deal. So previously you had to have like a special key and stuff like that. Now it's literally, you could just take things off 
and put new things on, which is really, really cool. So uh, you can customize it both from functionality, because like, you know, sometimes you want to have a longer stick or you want to have rumbles or not have rumbles or whatever else, but it's also kind of a, uh, it, it's a visual thing. It's a, a cosmetic thing where if you want to have a cool looking controller, you can, like we can have the, the gunmetal faceplate here. There's like a candy apple red faceplate. So let's go ahead and throw this thing on there. It just hops right on like that and you're good to go. And then like, I mean, on the back, like I typically don't use the four paddles. So I'm, I'm going to take off two of the inside paddles here. And now I just have my two outside paddles, and that's all I have to worry about, as well as these, these new side buttons, which is kind of cool. So that adds a couple of buttons for me. So yeah, that's honestly really cool. Like everything you guys saw in this original package, it all comes with the face plates, and then, oh, we need to put our D-pad back on there. The face plates, and then like these, these different colored accessory packages are not included with the controller when you first buy it. These are sold separately. You can get them from Scuff or from, I think, GameStop and other retailers and stuff. So you can get those separately if you want, the face plates along with the buttons. But uh, you know, it, it allows you to kind of customize your controller, keep it fresh, keep it clean, and uh, you know, make it look however you want it to look, which is pretty awesome. Now, talking about the controller itself, obviously I can't give a full-on review because this is the first time literally holding it. I I've never like used it or played with it before. It does feel pretty good. It's smaller than the Impact, which I like. I thought the Impact was a little bit too big. It didn't really sit in my hand right. This is still a little bit bigger than a normal PlayStation controller, but it's definitely a little bit smaller than the Impact, and I feel like it rests in the hand a little bit better. It's got, uh, it's got the scuff grip on the back back here. You've got the, uh, the trigger stops, which you can just kind of move around however you want to be able to stop the trigger and make you be able to shoot faster, which is kind of cool. You can move it back here, back to normal if you want to play like a racing game or whatever else. Uh, feeling the buttons here. All the buttons are all unique. None of these are actual PlayStation buttons. Like the thumbsticks feel pretty good. Those are special. They've got like some grip on the ring around the outside, which is pretty nice. The face buttons are a little bit punchier. The start and select buttons, even the D-pad, like everything's a little bit, ooh, those are nice. These are nice. The L1 and R1 on the normal PlayStation are really spongy, but these are like, these are very, very, they, they, they're reactive. They feel like mechanical. Triggers feel pretty good. These side buttons. So the point of these side buttons is it's kind of like with the paddles. So like on the back, I'll have jump on the left paddle and melee on the right paddle. So I'll run around and I can jump and shoot, jump and shoot, melee without ever taking my hands off the thumbstick so I can always aim. But the point of these is to add another set of buttons you can use. So like for example, in you know Black Ops 4, we have manual healing now. So let's say you know if you play flipped, you're gonna be like this, you're gonna be aiming down sight and shooting. And say you wanna heal, rather than taking your left finger off this and going down to hit the L1 heal button or L2 heal button, you can now just kind of extend your hand just like that. And it's a little bit, I mean, it's a little bit quicker. I feel like once I get used to it, it's gonna be a little bit quicker. But yeah, if you're playing like this, you could just kind of quickly extend your finger and get it done. Or if you play the normal triggers, you could you know, play like this and then quickly go like that rather than moving your finger off the trigger completely into a different spot in the controller. So it's all about little things like that, just saving you finger time, finger space, making sure your thumbs are staying on the controls at all times. And that's kind of what the scuff has always been about. And it seems like this is gonna be the best version they've had, plus it's the most customizable, which is really cool. Now, uh, down here, okay, so this is your USB and Bluetooth. So the, the uh, wired only version of this is $170. The wired and wireless version, which is what this one is, is $200. And, and the reason why they have this, they have USB, so you can plug in and act completely like a wired controller. There's no Bluetooth being transmitted at all. Or you can switch it to Bluetooth, connect it to your PlayStation via Bluetooth, and use it completely wireless. Now the reason why they want to have that separate is for gaming tournaments. So controllers that are constantly emitting Bluetooth at all times, like normal PlayStation controllers, cause a bunch of issues with like random people being able to connect to consoles and disconnecting other people and turning things on and off and stuff like that. So that's just more for a, a competitive standpoint, but it's cool that you can use it wired or wireless at any time if you're just playing at home. And uh, then over here, oh, this is the remappable button. And this is, is a little bit different too. So previously you had to have that little magnetic key to be able to remap things. This, when it's in the left spot, I think, that's just the normal play. But when you go to right, you're in remap mode. And let's say I wanna move this trigger here to the X button. I'm just gonna hold this trigger and X at the same time and then release. 
and that remaps it. And if I want to change it to something else, say I want to change it to right on the D-pad, hold it and write on the D-pad and it's going to remap it. And it, you can kind of constantly remap on the go. Obviously, you're not going to be remapping that often, but that makes it nice to be able to remap really, really easily. And you do the same thing with the side buttons. You turn remap on, do the side button, hit it to, depending on if you play flipped or not, like if you play flipped, you're going to go L2 for healing in Black Ops 4, release, and then boom, you're good to go. Now you're going to be able to heal every time you hit that, which is, uh, is kind of cool. So yeah, that's, I think that's the basic rundown. I guess the, the touch bar we didn't really touch on. I think you have to plug your headset into the controller and then you have the option to turn volume up, turn volume down, as well as mute it by tapping it. And uh, that's kind of cool. They said that the, the, the reason for that is like, you know, say you're, you're playing COD, you're in like a normal match, you're playing whatever, you've got your normal volume set, and then all of a sudden you're in a 1v1 in s and you really want to clutch up, you can just go like this and turn your volume up to be able to sound whore and then turn it back down to normal, which is kind of cool. I mean, that, it's, it's, I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how often I would actually end up using that. I feel like I would use my mix amp a lot more, but uh, still, I mean, if you're a super serious competitive player, and those seconds matter of looking over and turning your mix amp versus just being able to turn it up like that, I could definitely see that making a difference. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's the brand new Scuff Vantage. I, uh, I'm pretty impressed, I like it. This cable's nice, everything looks, everything looks pretty good so far. Like I said, I have not been able to play with it yet, but I've never had an issue with a Scuff controller before. I mean, they're, they're a fantastic product and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else there is to say. This thing looks pretty sick. I'm excited to actually use it. I wish, I'm looking at you, Scuff. I wish y'all would have sent me this a couple days ago so I could have used it on Blackout. So I guess we're going to be playing Fortnite or something, or maybe I'll load up Black Ops 3. But uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That's the brand new Scuff Vantage. It's um, definitely like the most feature rich controller I've seen from Scuff or from anybody else. Like in between like the actual functional being able to remap buttons, being able to change your thumbsticks and your D-pad and everything like that, as well as the customization of literally being able to make your controller look entirely different within, you know, three seconds is pretty awesome. Like that, that's really cool. It is an expensive controller. Like I said, the wired to 170, the wired and wireless combo is two, uh, 200. It's expensive. It, it, I think that makes it the most expensive scuff there's ever been. But between all the extra things you get in there, all the customization things and stuff, I think it would have cost you more in the past to buy the controller and the customizations. And with this one, it all comes together in one box. So it's up to you guys. If you guys want to check it out, definitely do so. If you already have an impact, maybe don't need to upgrade. I guess it's personally up to you. But if you guys have never tried out Scuff before, this is a brand new one that you could get in on the ground floor with, which is, uh, is kind of cool. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm excited to go actually play with this thing and uh, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Thanks again to Scuff. If you guys decide to buy, use coupon code TMARTIN, save a little bit of money and hook your boy up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.